Hey guys, the Crystal One Theo here, bringing you the start of something I'd like to try. I'm probably gonna call this like a let's learn. And as you can see, this game is Hearthstone. If you have never heard of Hearthstone, it's basically a card game where, in a nutshell, the, the like quest or mission of what you have to do is like kill your opponent and they have 30 health and you have to bring them down to zero and there are a couple of ways to do that and that is usually by either controlling the board with your with your own minions and cards or by rushing them down by doing a lot of face damage to them and killing them as quickly as possible now I um, have been playing I think this game for a couple of months maybe three or four yeah I think something around that ballpark and I've been having a lot of fun with it actually especially the arena and the purpose of this, I th I'll call it a let's learn I guess, will be like for you guys and me to like learn more about the arena since I'm not the best arena player, I think the best arena run I got was 9 and 3, I think that was with Priest and then after that was like 8 and 3 with Mage and Paladin which are classes of this game. I'll put a link in the description of uh, like a more detailed, de detailed description of this game and you can look into it, it's a free to play game, well you, you can buy things with it but it's mostly free to play I, don't, I haven't spent anything on this game yet and I don't think I will and yeah basically I wanted to I want to know if you guys could like help me get better in the arena um, I could help you if, if you have any questions which I might be able to answer but I'm not the best player as I've just said and yeah you guys can help me um, um, so I've already bought an arena run since you have to pay money or gold, 150 gold. And since I'm not the best shaman or druid player, I'm just gonna head to Paladin. Yes, you serve. And yeah, apparently Paladin is like I think probably the most, I mean the best class in arena right now, right about now, since it has the best cards I think. And yeah, let's just go ahead and start. So this is the drafting phase of Arena. For basically, you have 30, 30 cards. You have to pick 30 cards from these three. You, and you, if you pick one, the other two will get like um, discarded and you won't be able to use them. So here we have the Arcane Golem, which is fine. It, it's a 4 and 2. It has a charge and gives the opponent a mana crystal. It's quite good for rushing people down. It's, this is better in Hunter, I think. It's an, it's an okay card. This is a very good card, a Violet Teacher. If you have a spell, you cast a spell and summon a 1-1 one, one Violet Apprentice, which is very good. If you're out of spells, this is fantastic. This is really good on Paladin, Mage, for example, a Rogue also, it's great. But Eldor Peacekeeper is really good. I would pick the Violet Teacher, but I don't have any spells yet, as you can see. So I'm not, like, 100% sure if I should pick this, but I don't think I will. I'll go for the Eldor Peacekeeper, which is a great card, a 3-3 three, three, for a... Uh, 4-3 and it changes the enemy's minion attack to 1 which is fantastic so we're gonna go with that and here we have the raging worgen which is a 3-3-4-3 three, 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 and enrage means if it does damage so if something does damage to it it will get wind fury which means it will be, it will be able to attack twice and it has a plus 1 attack which means this will become a 4-2 for example or 4-1 and it will be able to attack twice it's an okay card I'm not the biggest fan of it since you, ne you need to enrage it and it's not the best 3 drop the the Bloodfin Raptor is a, is a good card. It's a great two drop since it's three for two. Uh, for it's three two for two. It's a great two drop. But this is a better card. This is a two drop with a divine shield and it's a two two. It's a fantastic. It's one of the best Paladin cards in my opinion, or one of the best. And yeah, so we're gonna go pick that. So the the Dalaran Mage is not that great. It's a one four for three and gives plus one spell damage. If you have like little spells, this could be fine. But I'm not a fan. Lord of the Dream has an okay card. Six five for six. It's not bad. It has taunt, which means all you have to attack that before you could attack your face with like your opponent. Let's say they have minions on the board and you have this. They have to get through this taunt before they can hit you or your other minions, unless they have spells, which in case they can target anything. And and Dancing Swords is also a good card, but it's a 4-4 for four, four, 3, and, but your uh, your opponent draws a card. Um, I don't know which one to pick here. I do have the Hearth Arena, like, tier list, which I think I'm going to consult right about now. Let's see what that says. I would go for the Dancing Swords, in my opinion. So that, apparently, according to Hearth Arena, it's bad, and Lord of the Arena is... Average. So I guess according to Heart Arena, we should take this. I still think this is quite a good card since four, four, for three. So the so the best scenario is you trade two cards with this, 
and then they can throw one card, so you get so you get some value. But I guess we'll go with the Lord of Dreamnut, so an okay card. And okay, we get a legendary. So so you can either take Alexstrasza, which is a fantastic card, Anixia, which is also really really good, or Emperor Thurzin, which is also freaking amazing. I'm gonna I think all of them are great, so I'm gonna go to the to the Hearth Arena tier list. So according to the tier list, Anixia is beyond beyond great. Alexstrasza is great, and Emperor Thurzin is... Great. So I guess we'll go with Onyxia. So basically, Alexstrasza sets a hero's... Uh, sets Set a hero's remaining health to 15. It could be either yours, which you're like your your baby at like six HP, and you heal yourself, or you put the enemy's HP at 15. Yeah, like you're trying to rush them down. Onyxia, you summon one one whelps until your battle side is full of of the one one whelps, which is good. And at the end of your turn, you reduce and Emperor Thorazin reduces your cost of cards on your hand by one. This is a really good card in theory, but it's so vulnerable to like silences or like a polymorph of your mage or people just want to kill this instantly. Whereas this is just a harder thing to kill unless you're a priest, you can shadow or death, or you can like I don't know, like if you're a mage, you can pol pol polymorph it. But I don't know, I'm just gonna go with Onyxia. It's a really good card, and we're gonna go for it. So Young Dragon Hawk is pretty. Crappy, it's one of the crappiest cards probably. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, it has Wind Fury. Like, a Mage, Rogues, Druids, am I forgetting someone else? I don't think so. Can kill this instantly, so it's not that great. Organ Magi is fine if you have a lot of spells, again we don't have any spells. And yeah, we're gonna go with the Two Silver Champion, which is a fantastic weapon, it's a fantastic card. It's a 4 for 2, it's a, it's a 4 mana cost, and it heals 2 of your two HP to your to your champion before the attack, and then they kill a, a, a minion. This is a fantastic card, because it kills a lot of 4 damage minions, or if you have minions on the board, it can trade fantastically, so we're gonna go with it. Oh, oh my god, another legendary, what is going on? I guess recording gives me luck. Okay, so Hogger is a really great card. Because at the end of your turn, it summons a 2-2 Null with Taunt, that's a really good. Baron Geddon is great, but I don't think it's really good with Paladin, since your hero power, it kind of, like, goes uh, against your hero power, since it does 2 damage to all other characters. And the Black Knight is also great, destroying enemy in ta with Taunt. I think I want to take the Hogger, let's see what the Arena t list says. So, let's go with the Arena tier list, I think I want Hogger though. Hogger is good, uh, Baron... Baron Geddon is also good, but it's essentially higher than Hogger, but I think I prefer Hogger here. And what's what was the other one? Like uh let the Black Knight, yes. And the Black Knight is also good, it's 74. So I think I'm gonna go with Hogger. It's a really good it's a really good drop and I'm gonna go with for, for it. It's like it's four for four. 4-4 four, for four, 6, which is not that great stat-wise, but it summons a 2-2 two, two, null, which unless you deal with this card, it's gonna be annoying. So the, so now we have a fairy dragon, which is a three three, which is a three two for two. Jesus, I can talk, and can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, which is great. The frost wolf grunt, I'm not a fan. It's a two two for two, and it has taunt. It doesn't trade well and just dies to any of two drop and even a one drop sometimes. War golem is kind of slow. We already have great late game with Onyxia, so I think I'm gonna go with uh, with more two drops. We need more early game here. So, these two kind of suck. Magma Rager is 5-1 for 3, basically it dies to hero powers, a 1-drop even. It's not that great. Usually in Arena you want to go with more like like something like a... Oh, we don't have any here. More something with HP, more than attack, like a 2-drop which has a 2-3, it's way better than, a, than this. Repentance is fine, when your opponent plays a minion to reduce its health to 1, it's okay, it's a fine card. People can't tend to play around it. If this was... Um, I, uh, not Repentance, the other card, the other secret for Paladin, I forget what it's called. And basically, it, retur it's re it returns one of your minions with one HP after they die. If that was that secret, I would have picked it, because with Shielded Minibot, it's fantastic, and even with Fairy Dragon, it's fine. So, but I think I'm going to Abusive Sergeant. It gives a plus to attack, minion plus to attack this turn, which means it can trade, it can make other things trade, and it's also a 2 1 for 1, which is not bad, so we're going to go for it. So now here we have either a Murloc Tide Hunt Hunter, which summons a 1-1 Murloc Scout, which is a 2-1, and then summons another 1-1. Uh, spell damage plus 2-1, which is 2-2 two, two for 2. Again, if you have a lot of small spells, this is great, but I don't. I think I'm going to take a Silence. I really like this card, but Silences in Arena are really strong, since... Um, 
they're really strong. They're quite rare also, silences. You don't see many silences. I think they're only like, I think two natural, na neutral cards. I think this, the, the Spellraker and the Owl, which does, which silence. I'm not sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go with it. Usually I would pick this, but I think I prefer this. I, re I really need more early game though. Target damage is crap. Basically, it's a zero mana, zero two for taunt. I don't like it. It's kind of questing adventurer. Um, it, you can build it up if you can, but I'm not sure I can in this, since it would be kind of awkward to build. A uh, Kazan Mystic is fine as well. There's a lot of mages and paladins in 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 arena, and they do usually play secrets. Which if you take a secret, it's freaking great. So I'm gonna go with Kazan. I really like Kazan a lot, actually. So now we can either take a Young Priestess, which again, I'm not really a fan since it dies to all the hero powers. But at the end of your turn, you give another friendly minion plus one health. Which is fine, as there's like, if you, if, uh, if you play this on turn one, it's not that great since it dies instantly. But let's say you play this on like turn three, with another one drop or two drop, and you play this, and it gives it plus HP. And usually people want to kill this, so it's a great way to bait out hero powers or spells or something. It's fine. The Demolisher is kind of crappy, since it's a 1-4 for 3. It does deal 2 damage to random enemy, but if it does dam that damage to like the enemy hero, it's basically wasted. It's, so it's like, why would you play this? It, I see its value, but if it goes, if it doesn't attack any minions, like let's say there are 3 minions on, on the enemy's board, and the... Uh, and, uh, and the opponent, and there's the hunt, and there's the face. And if it goes face, it's basically useless. It's great if it goes on minions, but it's just so RNG. I think I'll take another Aldor Peacekeeper since it's such a crazy card. Okay, so I don't think we will need another Silence. Frostwolf Grand have already said my th my uh, thoughts on it. I think we take a Seal of Light. It restores four health to your hero and gains plus two attack. This plus the True Silver Champion it gives it six. It makes it a 6-2, which means it will, it will trade fantastically. It also gives you plus 4 HP, so I think I'm going to go with that. Life Justice, I'm not a fan. Blessing of Wisdom is fantastic. This is fine if you have like a lot of flood and then you kill it, but people just on, constantly want to kill it. And I feel like it dies instantly before it gets like to its full potential. And I don't I don't have much much flood in this deck, so besides, you know, um, Hogger. But I think I'm going to go Blessing of Wisdom. Card draw is great, I don't have any card draw yet, and I'm going to go take some card draw. So far this shipping up to be fantastic. So Dancing Swords, I've, we've, I've already said about it. A cut of pain, whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. And anti Healbot is also great, restores 8 health to your hero. Um, I don't know which to pick here, I think I'd, I would probably go for the Acolyte, but let's see what the tier, tier list has to say. So the Dancing Swords, as I ha said, was bad. So Acolyte of Pain is above average, so that's great. And then the Antique... Healbot is below average, so I was right. I'm gonna take the Acolyte of Pain here. It's dr card draw, which is fantastic. Um, this is crap. I've said this is also bad if you don't have Murlocs. Basically, whenever a Murloc is summoned, gain plus one attack. I have like zero Murlocs, so that's crappy. Wild Pyromancer is fantastic. Sucks that I don't have any spells to take advantage of it besides Seal of Light, but I'm still gonna take it. It's a three, three. It's a three, two, four, two, and hopefully, if we get other spells, this would be better. Okay, so we can either take the Cog Hammer, which, which are, these are all fantastic cards by the way. So, a Cog Hammer give a random friendly minion Divine Shield and Taunt, which is great. It's 3, it's 3 mana and it's, it gives Taunt and Divine Shield. Basically, Divine Shield, as it says here, first, first time a shielded minion takes damage, ignore it, which is great. Uh, Sword of Justice is also pretty broken. Whenever you summon a minion, gives it plus one, plus one, and this loses their ability. So basically, this could give five minions plus one, plus one. This is fantastic. We have like flooding. If basically, if like remember, I had that Murloc Tide Hunter which I could have taken. This is fantastic with that because it, it summons the Murloc Tide Hunter, gives it plus one, plus one, then summons the other one, 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 and gives it plus one, plus one as well. This is really good for clearing the board, avenging grass. I would, I think the cog hammer is the best thing here, but I'm gonna check the tier list. I'm sorry if it, this bothers you guys, but I'm still see the cog hammer is beyond great, so I'm gonna take the cog hammer. The cog hammer is the best, or cog hammer people like to call it, and I'm gonna go ahead with it. This is ter turning out to be a fantastic deck. Oh no. Oh, uh, these are all such good cards. The uh, Argent Protector is probably the pick here. It's a, it gives a friendly mini divine shield, which means it trades really well and it gets a lot of value. Guardian of Kings is also fantastic. It restores 6 health to your hero. And Frost Elemental is also fantastic. It freezes a character and gives you like board control and then you can like ignore that minion and trade with it late next time. But I think the Argent is the, is the pick here. So let's check the tier list again. 
I would I'm think I the Ar Argent Commander is like eighty and the rest are taunting. The Frost Elemental is probably uh Frost Elemental is above average, it's fine. Uh no Argent Protector is eighty two actually. Frost Elemental is, is is above average, it's great. I mean the Argent Protector is great. And what was the other pick? Yeah, Guardian of Kings. It was it's probably like ab above average. Yeah, Guardian of Kings above average. So I'm gonna take the Argent Protector since it's such a great card. These all suck. Okay, so the Young Dragon Hawk, as I said, it's crappy. Stone Skin Gargoyle is at the start of your turn, store minion to full HP. If you have buffs to this, this thing, it's okay. Cogmaster Kog is okay if you have if you have a mech. I think I'm gonna go Cogmaster since I have the the, mil the shielded minibot. It's better if you have like three, at least three other mechs or four. But I'm still gonna take the Cogmaster since this sucks and I hate this card, so I'm gonna go with this with the Cogmaster. Another Cogmaster I hate it. This is probably the worst card in 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 the entire in probably in 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 probably the entire of Hearthstone. This is such a crappy card. When your hero takes damage, deal that damage to the enemy hero. It's such a bad card. It's a secret. It's such a bad card since like I don't know. There's so many minions that do one damage or two damages or two damage. Late game maybe if you're top decking and you get this and have like a Boulder Fist to just 6 damage, it's fine, but it's just so ugh, no, I'm gonna take the Stone Split Throg, which I'm gonna take, it's a great card, it's a great 2 drop, and whenever your opponent casts spells, it gains one, 1 plus 1 attack. People want to kill this, so usually they waste removal onto it, and if they don't, and if they cast a spell, then it gets gets a 3-3, three, three. and if they cast 2 spells, it gets a 4-3, which is fantastic, so. I like cards like this, which, which force your opponents to, like, make other decisions. So these are kind of all meh. This the problem. This well, basically, let's start to, with this. We we'll start from worst to best. So basically, we have Cold Lights here, which is a three four. Which is a three two three. Which is okay. Th there are two drops which have two three, which so which make this kind of eh. If you have, if you have Murlocs, it's fine because it gives all other Murlocs plus two health. I have no Murlocs, so this sucks. Wailing Soul, it's fine. It's Battle Cry silence your all, all your other minions. The problem with this is I don't have anything that I like to silence. If you have this plus Zombie Chow plus Ogre Brutes and it's and you silence them, then this is a great card. The problem with this card, since I don't have any dragons, it's kind of a waste. But I don't want to silence any of my cards, and I need a five drop, so I'm gonna go ahead get 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 this card. So humility is okay. It's it's a, like a crappier version of Aldor Peacekeeper, since it does the same thing, but it's not a minion. It's a one drop. Ooze is fantastic since it, it destroys the enemy enemy weapon, but I think I'm gonna take a Guardian of Kings here. This might be incorrect, but I think I'd take a Guardian of Kings. I need some healing and I need some more late game since the only late game I have is basically Onyxia, and maybe the Dragon Consort. Hogger is okay late game, but I think I'm gonna take a Guardian of Kings. It's a, such it's such a great card. Okay, so these are all kind of meh. So Wisp is awful. It's zero. It's one one. I think the best for this is like if you have a Hobgoblin deck, which is basically if you don't know what Hobgoblin is, Hobgoblin, it it gives other minions which are one which have one attack like plus two plus two, which is which makes this okay. Or if you're a rogue and and you don't have anything that could like combo, this is fine too. Mech Corp is fine, but I don't have any mechs, so it's kind of crappy. And the only mech I have is a shielded minibot. So I think I'm gonna take the Voodoo Doctor here. I don't hate the Voodoo Doctor. I'm gonna go ahead with it. I need more late game to be honest. I need more fives. Oh wow, these are all suck. I for an eye is crap. A young Dragon Hawk is also crap. So let's go ahead repentance. Jesus, that sucks. Oh no. Priestess of Alone is crappy. It's a 5 4 for 6 and source 4 health to your hero. It's so slow. It's so bad. I hate it. Tinker Town is fantastic if you have me mechs. Unfortunately, I only have one mo goddamn mech. If you have a mech, you gain plus 1 plus 1, so it's a 4 4 for 3. And a spare parts to your hand, which is, which is a spell. Uh, see, a spare parts are 1 cost spells, which have minor effects like taunt, gives gives your minions plus 1 attack or plus 1 HP, that kind of thing. But the ship's cannon, whenever you summon a pirate, deal 2 damage to a random man enemy. I don't have any pirates either, but I think I'm gonna take this since I need more two drops. Since the only real two drops I have, I have one, two, three, four two drops. I think I'd rather have another one. It's a two, three, four, two, so it trades well. I don't think the ticker town is too much of a gamble since I won't always draw shielded minibot. I would want to, but the, the odds of me drawing this card plus this card in the same hand is kind of limited. So I'm gonna take ship scan in. Oh, these are all quite good except this one since I don't have spells. So I've already talked about this. 
This card Crusader is fantastic. It's a 3-1-4-3 with Divine Shield. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah. I think I mean, it's gonna be the Yeti, though. Since I don't have a true 4-drop, it's just these two, which are situational. A uh, Yeti is fantastic. It's 4-5-4. Four, four, four. It trades awesomely. And it doesn't die to, like, a 3-drop or anything. Or, as, unless it's a really good 3-drop. Which I don't think there's a 3-drop which trades with it. It's usually gonna get a 2-4-1 at, at least, at this, this Yeti. Which is really good, so we're gonna go with it. Life Justice is eh, I don't like it, it's a 1 for 4, with, with, it does 1 damage to minions, I don't like it, it's kinda crappy. Loot Hoarder is great, it's a 2 1 for 2 and you draw a card. Force Tank Max I think is also really good, but it might be too slow. But I don't know, I think I'm gonna take a Force Tank Max, since I need a bit more late game, but I, after this I'm gonna, I'm gonna take at least as many 2 drops as I can. And okay, this gives me 4 drops, so... Cult Master is a fan fantastic card if you have like... So flood, which I don't have very much of, to be honest. I don't have m much flood. If I had, uh, like, for example, an um, imp monster, this would be great. If I took the Murloc Tide Hunter, this would be fine. I think I'm gonna take the Gnomish. The the South Sea that that deck hand has charge while you have a weapon equipped. This does go great with the ship's cannon, so this is a pirate. It's a one drop as well. I think I'm gonna take the Gnomish. More card draw. The only card draw I have is this, and best of wisdom. So I think I'm gonna take a, a Gnomish, in my opinion. I don't the cat, the cult master is great, but I don't. But I think a gnomish is more reliable in here. So okay, epic cards. So this is a recombobulator. Basically, it transforms a friendly minion into a random minion at the same cost, which is great. Sometimes it's it's kind of RNG. But let's say if uh, you, like Kazan Mystica use it, and then I want to recombobulate it to something better. Spellbreaker, same thing. Dragon Consort, same thing. Like, I Dragon Consort, and then I want to, like, hit something, I trade, and then I recombobulate it. I think these two would be the best to, to recombob, or maybe with Venomish. Um, Quartermaster is fine, give your Silver Hand Recruit, which is your hero power, plus two, plus two. It's fine if you have, if you have like, a card called Master for Battle, which, which summons three of your hero power, and gives you, uh, Light's Justice. This is great, because basically, you have three of your, of your hero powers, and this gives them plus two, plus two, which makes them, which gives you three, three, threes. But it's not that great since I don't have that. Sword of Justice, I already explained, it's great, it's fantastic, we have, like, Flood. We don't need even need Flood, because this is just such a good card. I think I'm gonna take Recombobulator just for the funny factor. I don't know, I think I like Recombob, let's just go ahead and take it. And this is the other Iron Beak, this is the other Silence I talked about, the Iron Beak Owl, it's a 2-1-for-1. One one. Eye for an eye, how many Eye for an eyes have I got this time? Four? It's such a bad card, stop. And Avenge is great. When a one of your minions dies, give random friendly minion three plus three plus two. Um, I think this is a really good card. I don't. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it, since I have so many one drops. I, I have three one drops. If that those die, and then I Argent something or Fairy Dragon, this would be great. I think I'm gonna take this. And for last card, we have a Goblin Sapper, which is okay. It has plus four attack while your opponent has six cards or more in their hand. Which is kind of eh, I mean, how many times at at, at 3 mana co at, at, oh my god, what, what did I talk about? At this, how many times is like at, when it's your th 3 mana turn and it's maybe their 3rd, their 4 mana turn, are they gonna have 6 cards? It's eh, it's a th 2 4 two four for 3, it does trade pretty well. I don't like Twilight Drake. People love Twilight Drake. I just really don't really like it. It's 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 basically a dragon against plus one health for each card you, in, you have in your hand. I just really don't like it because it just forces you not to play things. But since I already ha I have such great early game, I don't want this. I really like Imp Monster since at the end of your turn, deal one damage to your minion, to this minion, and summon a one one imp. I'm kind of sad that I didn't take the. The what's it called? The Sword of Justice of Recombobulator, since this is so fantastic with Sword of Justice. But I'm gonna take this anyway, since it's such a great card on its own. So I think this 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 deck is great. I mean, in my honest opinion, we have really good early game. See, it kind of falls off mid game since I only have one five drop, which kind of sucks. But late game is fantastic since of Onyxia, Force Tank Max, and Guardian of Kings. Wow, that took 24 minutes to draft this. I'm so sorry. I'll, uh, I'll, I want these parts to be 30 minutes at least. So I'm gonna play one game, maybe, maybe two, and see where it takes us. Wait, first, give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. So let's see where this draft takes us. Usually, the first game is either really easy since you're facing like 
new people since you're facing people who are OO and O as well and also uh, you or it could also be really hard since you've been facing like really good people who just drafted and they're OO and O as well so it's either be the toughest game or one of the easier games I'm hoping it's the f latter to be honest <laughs> so we're facing a shaman which is fine the problem with this deck, we don't have much removal, so I'm gonna have to be trading efficiently. So this is the mulligan phase. Now we are we are first, which means you don't get the coin, which kind of sucks because the coin is great. But I don't want this since a four drop. I don't want this. A ship's cannon is a two drop, which I'll keep. Hopefully we'll get our one drops or maybe another two drop. See, oh yeah, this is great. This is great. So I'll cook master turn one and then ship's cannon, unless we draw something. Which, which, which you don't, so let's call Master. It's a 1 2 for 1, which kind of sucks. If he doesn't play anything, we'll just ship scan in. If maybe he plays something scary, like coins out a 2 drop, can I'll use the sergeant it. But it doesn't look like he's going to do anything. Oh, see, yeah, he's not going to do anything. So just drew Hogger, which is okay. Our, our, our hand is kind of clunky since next turn we have Divine Shield, not, I mean, Cog Hammer, then after that we have nothing. But I'm gonna ship scan in here. We can we can either abuse the sergeant this and do a bunch of damage to his face, which kind of sucks. We're gonna hero power, which is not that great. But we'll we'll put down our two drop. It trades efficiently, but we don't have the the passive of it. I guess you can call it a passive. But it trades it trades quite well. If he totems here, it will be kind of awkward for him since he doesn't have a two drop or a one drop. So let's see. He's gonna lightning bolt this. This, I think yeah, that that means he has a lightning bolt or crackle. Whoa, that is not very good. So basically, crackle is a fantastic card. It does either three to six damage and overloads the, the shaman for one turn. Basically, you have X less mana next turn, which means he has one less mana next turn, which means next turn he's gonna have two mana, not three mana. So that's kind of a waste since he does, he did it on a ship's cannon, for, which is a two three. That's usually good for like um, I don't know. A three, a, a like, I don't know, what, what would be good, a, a really big drop. So I think in here I'm gonna Wild Pyro, since I don't have much to do. I don't wanna Cog Hammer this, it's not that great, and, and Hero Powering I think it's too weak. Since this is gonna be his another two drop, so I think I'm gonna put this down. And I, there's no point in really saving this, since I don't have many spells to proc this. I think I only have a Seal of Light spell, which kind of sucks. But yeah, there's no point in keeping this, to be honest. And he's only got a totem, which this can trade with this. Yeah, this is gonna trade. And that's also a reason why I put this out. It trades with pretty much all. Or doesn't trade, it just kills, outright kills um, the totems. Here I'm gonna shield Minibot. Well, it is a shaman, so placement doesn't quite matter. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh, yeah, it also gives this plus three, so that's great. Now there's a card called NC Tech, which is a, I think it's a 3 3 for 3. And basically, if you have four or more minions, it will steal it. So I'm not gonna hero power here, just to play around MC Tech. I have played, I have been MC Tech before and it sucked. So yeah, unfortunately this turn is for him is the lightning lightning turn. Oh wow, that's really good. Oh no, that's not good. That's a blood knight. It all means lose the fine shield and that gets plus three plus three for each shield lost. So that's a six six for three now, which kind of is scary. I think I want to abusive sergeant. Oh, oh what's it gonna do? Lightning bolt. Oh, Frost Shock, okay. Frost Shock this, okay. And he's gonna call in another one, dro one thing. And he's gonna Frost Shock this, whoa, whoa, okay. He really wants this thing to live. Um, This is kind of an awkward situation. I think I'm going to Cog Hammer. Since it will be give it Taunt and Divine Shield, it sucks if he has like something that to brew this back and this will be a 6-6 six, six again. But it'll be a waste of mana on his on his part to be honest. So I think I'm just gonna cog hammer here. There's no point in playing the Voodoo Doctor, since again I'm C Tech. Okay, that's actually really good. It landed on this, so now he has to go through this. Um I'll I'll pa I won't hit or hero power. Well actually he doesn't have him no, wait, um Hmm, should I? There's no point in really like Voodoo Doctor Ring since it only gives it gives two HP and these die to any AOE spells anyway, so I don't think I need to. And next turn I can build this sergeant, one of these, and then hit it in my face. Oh, oh wow, that that is awkward. This is not good. This is beyond good. So this is a Earth Elemental. It's a five drop and seven eight. Unfortunately, it gives overload of three. 
So we have three, six, seven, eight on the board, so everything trades into it. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I don't think I want to do that, just don't think I want to do that. Oh no, this is not good. So I think I want to hug her here. Um, do I want to hug her, or do I want to imp monster and then abuse a sergeant something? Or I can abuse a sergeant and give something plus two attack, so that means this would be a five. That would trade into that, then I can hit this with my face. Then I can play imp monster, it's kind of weak, but it does deal with all his board, and I do end up taking seven damage to the face. And I can heal myself, and then imp monster. I think that's fine. I think that's what I'm gonna do, to be honest. So let's let's do that. So do that. Then hit it. I do gonna take six damage to the face, actually. Actually, do I need to? So I think I'm just gonna do the imp monster. And yeah, I'll just. Oh crap! I didn't hit my frick, 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 frick. I didn't hit with my divine shield. That's bad. I mean, it's my shield is minibot. That's kind of sucks. Because there's no point in hitting it with my face, since next turn he'll pass to take it into this, and then I can hit it with the uh, with abusive. It sucks that he didn't hit with this, but that that's my bad. I I don't do I want to. Say, I think I'll take six damage to the face, in my opinion. Oh no, that's wind fury. What's he gonna do? Kill this? Okay, so this kills it outright. So I don't want to take six. No, I'm not gonna take. Oh wow, I could alt our peacekeeper. No, no, I'm gonna. Oh. My. God. Are you kidding me right now? I just recorded a ton of crap, and the story decided to stop recording. I am so pissed off right now, but I did stop during the game, so hopefully I didn't miss too much. I'll... Oh my god. I'll try to put an annotation or something, I guess. That's so awkward. Oh my god. It sucks so much. Okay. What did he do? He fired elemental to hugger. Why would he do that? Does he have a AoE? Uh, maybe he does. So I think I'm gonna hold our peacekeeper. I, I have to hold our peacekeeper. That. So I could do one plus four, which is five. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. I mean, I'm gonna trade. And then I'm gonna play the the avenge. Go face. And then and then I'm just gonna hold the doctor. Why not? Yeah, the hogger is, is doing really great. We have a lot of things. If he has lightning storm, that would suck. But unless it kills all, everything, it just will get avenged. Oh no, oh no, that's lightning storm, isn't it? Or lightning bolt. Crackle, okay, that's another crackle. But when that dies, it's something that's gonna get avenged, so... What's gonna get... Okay, that that's fine. We must Cleanse the sunwell. Okay, so I do have my cock hammer still. And that has to die. Oh, that's such a good drop. Okay. So let's see. How do I want to do this? So it's a 4-6. I can hit it, and then hit it with this, and that dies. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to hit and do this. This I'm going to definitely hit this with my face. And then I'm going to put this into this. This into that. And then hit him. And then I'm going to hear power. I think we, we're pretty much won at this point. It sucks so hard that my DX story decided to stop. And we won, so we give him a friendly well played, and I think it was really good. I, I enjoyed that game a lot, that was fun. Our deck is really great. It sucks that we have not gr that great removal. The only removal I have is True Silver Champion, which I have no idea where it is. True Silver Champion right here, and the Cogmaster, no, I mean not the Cogmaster, the Cog Hammer, since it trades fantastically. Wait, well, I don't know what the Cog Hammer is, tree drop there. Uh, that's the only remo real removal, because I don't have any Consecrations or Hammer of Wrath or anything, which sucks. But yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys when I continue playing. So I'm sorry that this have many games, but the drafting is really important. Hopefully you enjoyed this as, as as much as I did. I had a lot of fun playing it for you guys. Also, if you have any suggestions, many maybe misplays I did in that game, feel free to tell me. Feel free to give me any tips you might have. And yeah, give this give this episode a like if you want this one to continue, and I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Bye!